Today, the search of former President Donald Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago, Florida, is back in front of a federal judge. The hearing allowed arguments for the affidavit of the search warrant to be made public or not. ABC's Zareen Shaw reports on what the judge decided. The Florida federal judge who approved the search warrant on former President Trump's Florida home is now considering whether he will release the underlying affidavit, which was used to justify the raid. The federal magistrate spent more than an hour listening to arguments from lawyers representing media companies who want the affidavit unsealed due to the high public interest and the Department of Justice who are fighting to keep it under seal, saying revealing it would jeopardize their national security investigation. Legal experts believe the DOJ's arguments are likely to prevail. I think it's virtually zero chance that it will be re released, and if it is, it'll be substantially redacted. DOJ says, you know, if we redact what needs to come out of it, because remember, we're talking potential espionage here based on the warrant, uh, serious national security interests, it would be worthless. It wouldn't mean anything. The FBI search warrant on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate was executed 10 days ago. A raid on a former president's home is unprecedented. According to documents previously released by the Department of Justice, agents seized 27 boxes, including 11 sets of the most highly classified information from Trump's home. Attorney General Merrick Garland said he personally signed off on the search warrant and that his department did not take that decision lightly. But Trump's Republican allies were outraged, condemning the DOJ and FBI and demanding more transparency. Merrick Garland can't have it both ways. He can't give us the inventory, the warrant, without telling us why it was necessary. After hearing the arguments, the federal judge said he is not prepared to find the affidavit should be fully sealed. He told the FBI to submit its proposed redactions to the affidavit by next Thursday for him to review. If there are disagreements over the redactions between the judge and the Justice Department, the judge said he may file his own redactions. The judge said this will be a careful process and the rights of all interested parties would be considered. The judge added if he ended up making his own redactions and both the DOJ and media disagree, he will delay his ruling while they appeal. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Washington.